I want to get you to kind of go a little bit further in depth. Why do you feel it's a fast game and that it drew your interest from that standpoint? Okay, so I'll go back to when I used to play softball many, many years ago, being a left fielder. And it was just daunting. You're just sitting out there waiting for a ball, waiting and waiting, looking at the clock. And it just, you know, okay. But I do want to say that I have been watching Little League on TV while I'm at the gym. They got it rolling at ESPN. And I do feel that, you know, uh, the Little League so- girls softball has upped their game tremendously as well. I mean, I'm watching these kids play and they're just going out there. I mean, they're going full bore and they're phenomenal athletes. So I don't want to take away from like that sport. However, uh, with cricket to me being fast paced, I just, I just constantly think about the dynamics of the game itself. It, I mean, the field constantly changing, who's bowling, um, you know, the battling style if they're lefty or righty. And it's just, you constantly have to be checking in. If you're not checked in, you're going to miss something. And it's, you really have to be two steps ahead of the game with what's going on. Um, reading players, reading the field in that aspect as far as fielding goes when it comes to batting I have my favorite players I mean they're all they're all my favorite but you really get to build a relationship with say another batsman or better and we read each other we talk to each other the entire time and it's kind of a competition within itself it's like okay can you get 50 if you get 50 I'll get 51 so I mean you can kind of break down within it and create like sub uh, competitions within a game itself I mean, it could be a slow pace. It could be a very leisurely game, but I, I tend to want to kind of up the level a little bit and really just kind of be proactive in that game. And you have that opportunity with cricket, whereas other sports, especially when you go higher level, if you have an athlete, a professional level athlete, they are so good that they can relax a little bit. When you look at like minor league, for example, or even kids, I mean, they're throwing themselves out there. Not that a, a a high level performing athlete wouldn't, but um, they're all in. And I really appreciate that aspect of it and in the pace that, that that brings. One of the other things you said that caught my ear, joy of repetition. Mm-hmm. What do you mean by the joy of repetition in cricket? Uh, you know, I think that's for anything, but especially for cricket, for accuracy and consistency. Uh, you really have to have that relationship with that repetitive nature when I first started, I was really hesitant because I didn't want to have bad form. I didn't want to learn something in a way that was not correct so that I would repeat that. So as I was continued to be coached by um, other individuals working on my form, working on my bowling form, working on my batting form, watching videos over and over and over again of just how to pick up the bat, how to hold the bat, and how to position your your foundation, you know, just every aspect. It's just that constant repetition, working on that muscle memory. And, you know, that's where a lot of these young kids really kind of excel because they, some kids might have uh, experienced that early on so that they don't have any bad habits. So I, you know, when I played basketball, it was me laying on the bed with the ball, throwing it a hundred times every day, again and again and again. But it became, I don't want to say an addiction, but just this itch they had to keep scratching to get it again and again and again. And then once you're in that zone, you're kind of unstoppable. And that's why, again, like I like the fast pace of, of the game because you can get into that groove pretty quickly. You don't really have time to think. Um, I know that some individuals might have a certain ritual of things to get to that. And I might develop some of those rituals as well. But overall, it's to getting into those, those repetitive things to kind of fall back on. So if you're not having a good day, those things are right there. You can just kind of go into your toolbox and, okay, what do I got to do? And then boom, you go, go for it. 